Snackklassen. Hello, fellow guitar players. Welcome to episode one. Yes. During this season, we're going to have a look at a lick, how I would practice it, how to incorporate it into your own playing, and how to get the maximum mileage out of your precious practice time. So first of all, I'd like to say I'm no longer a huge fan of practicing long licks going over chord changes or uh, having too many notes in it because it's not flexible. Just imagine you practice the lick for three months and then you stand on stage waiting for the moment where you can unload this killer lick. Well, not the one I just played, but the one you practiced. And then it's over after two seconds and all the practice time is gone. So um, I'd rather have small motifs that offer me more flexibility when improvising. So um, let's get started. I show you the lick. Well, not that one, the one I brought along. It's based on a D9 chord. Actually, it's a D9 arpeggio. So we start on the fifth fret, which happens to on the A string, which is the D. Then we play seventh fret on the D string, which is an A. Then we play the E on the G string. E. Sorry, had to do that. Uh, ninth fret. Then we move on to the C, fifth fret on the G string, back to the A on the D string, seventh fret. And then we finish off with the F sharp, uh, ninth fret on the A string. So we got three notes going up, which I would sweep and then sweep back three notes. And then I would, without a metronome, just try to get this shape under my fingers and memorize it. In this case, it's quite easy to memorize because it's uh, symmetrical. And once I can play this fluently and without thinking too much, well, I would move on to episode two. See you next Friday.